And now, Displays with Jake. Hi, I'm Jake. I've put together a little film to show you some of our displays. Follow me. This is the Nintendo Power Previews display. Works a lot like a jukebox. You walk up, you push a button, and it plays the game that you've selected. Sometimes you need to adjust the volume on this. To do that, you take your key number 2007, go underneath the keypad, and open up the keypad, and then drop down the front door. You'll find two different buttons here. One of them adjusts the attract mode volume, while the other one will adjust the volume of the game that you just selected. You may also see another version of this that's 30 inches wide. Now, we've got a lot more to look at, so let's go take a look at those. There you are! This is the Super NES Floor Interactive Display. You can play some really cool Super NES games on this thing. Sometimes, you'll want to change those games out. To do that, take your key marked LL419 on your really cool Mario Paint key ring and open it up by unlocking the lock on the side, and that'll flip the cover up. Open the cover, turn off the power, push down on your eject button, and that'll pop up the game pack. Take out the game pack cartridge, take your new game pack cartridge, put it into the slot, push down firmly, be sure to turn your power back on, and then close and lock your cover. Now, sometimes you'll want to change the volume on this as well. To do that, we have to run around to the side here. The side panel will open up if you take the same key and open the lock on the back of the display. Open up that lock, open the side panel, and if you look right down here, you'll see a little blue block with little teeny tiny switches on it. Right above that is a little thing that looks like a screw head. Take the screwdriver you got in your kit and turn that little screw head one way or the other to adjust the volume. Me, I like the volume up really high. Hey, does this look familiar? This is just like the other unit we just saw, only the countertop version. The inside workings are just like the other one, so I'm not going to bother showing you that. I do want to show you how to set the volume on this one, and that's around the other side. Come over here, and again, we look for that little blue block where the timer settings are made, and look for the little screw head driver adjustment right above that. Be sure to put in your screwdriver, and you know me, I like it up real loud. Hi again. Let's talk about some Game Boy displays. First, we've got the Game Boy Counter Interactive Display. Here, you've got your cool Game Boy with amplified stereo sound. Now, on this display, you want to change out the game pack and or adjust the volume. To do that, let's go to the back of the display. In the back, take your key marked MM101, unlock the back door, Open it all the way up, and inside, you'll see the top end of your Game Boy here. To change the cartridge, be sure to turn the volume on your Game Boy off, push up on the game cartridge, and lift it out, and then take your, the game cartridge that you want to replace and, and put it in with the label facing down, press firmly into the Game Boy, don't forget to turn the power back on, and you're ready to play your new game. <clears throat> now, adjusting the volume. Let's move to the left-hand side over here. You'll see a, a funny little electronic board with a bunch of little things like legs and, you know, bugs with legs and stuff. And right up here, you've got a little uh, shaft sticking out with a rubber grommet on it. That's your volume control. Take that and turn it up to make it louder or down to make it quieter. And don't forget, always close and lock your displays. <clears throat> Next, we'll talk about this unit here. Another great Game Boy Interactive with a Game Boy mounted right in here. Superb stereo amplified sound. But in this one, we've added some really cool special electronics so that we can watch the game being played on a TV screen. Now here, we don't have to get into the back of the display. To change the game cartridge or adjust the volume, we simply open the front panel by using your MM101 key again, turn the key, the front panel flips down. Inside, at the top of your Game Boy, just like we did a minute ago, don't, you can turn the power off and pull your game cartridge out to change it. To put a new one in, don't forget, label has to be down. Insert that into the back of the Game Boy, turn your power back on, and you're ready to play. Adjusting the volume is just as easy. Over here on the right-hand side, you'll see a little black handle sticking off of the electronic board. Simply turn that up or down to adjust your volume. 
Again, don't forget to close and lock your cover. Almost done, only three more to go. Let's start out with some of our bigger displays. Here we've got a Super NES Interactive, and you've seen the Super NES before. This one, you've changed the game pack out in before, so we'll skip all that. But on this one, the volume is a little bit tricky to find, so I wanna show you where that's at. Take your key marked MM101, unlock and open the cover, and looking way up here on the left-hand side, there's a little tiny knob to adjust your volume. Use that to adjust your volume up and back down again. Be sure to close your cover and lock it. Another display that's very similar to this and another gargantuan in size type display is this one right here. On this one, we have both the NES and a Game Boy. On the NES side, I want to show you how to change the game pack and adjust the volume on this one. We haven't seen the NES before. Again, using your key numbered MM101, unlock the cover, lift it out of your way, and inside you'll see the Nintendo Entertainment System control deck. To change the cartridge, press your power button, lift the door, pop out the old cartridge, and take the new cartridge that you want to put in, label facing up, stuff it in there and push it down. Pop down that door, push the power on, and you're ready to play. One more thing before we get out of here is this volume control over here. You've seen the board before, you've seen the silver shaft before, and there's a little rubber grommet. Just take it and turn your volume up or down, and you're all set. Don't forget, close the door and lock it. Okay, over here on the Game Boy side, again, this is all part of this one great display. And, and one more time, we put those really, really special electronics in here so you can see the game on the TV screen. The Game Boy down here is mounted into this cover. To change the game pack or adjust the volume, one more time, take that MM101 key, you ought to know that number by now, push it into the lock, unlock, the whole cover comes out, but be careful not to pull too hard, you'll yank all the wires out. Inside. You've got access to your Game Boy cartridge, and you've already seen how to change that out. Down here, you've got your electronic board with that real familiar silver shaft and rubber grommet. And if you haven't guessed by now, that is the volume control. When you're done, put your cover back on and lock the display up. Okay, time to move on. Jake's journey is almost over, but first I've got one more display to show you. Here we've got the three system interactive tower with the NES, Game Boy, and the Super NES in it. Let's take a look. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, with this thing, all three sides are set up pretty much the same. They've got the unit housed inside of a drawer where you can get into and change the game packs out. Let's see how we do that. Underneath the center of the drawer, you take your MM101 key into the lock, you turn the lock, and then pull your drawer out as such. Lift your cover up, you can get inside, change the game pack out, turn the unit on and off. Be sure to close the cover up, and obviously we want to close and lock the drawer down here. That leaves just the volume control. A real easy spot, not very visible. Over here on the left-hand side, just under the drawer, feel around, you'll find a little black tube down here. Take that tube and turn the volume up or down as you see fit. Now you know me, I like the volume up really high. 